Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm really excited to do this video because this is an idea I've had for a while, but I just haven't had the time to do it. I don't know if you guys know what Pinterest is. I'm sure you guys do, unless if you're living under a rock, you most likely know what Pinterest is. But if you don't, basically Pinterest is an app that you download on your phone and you can also look at it on your computer as well, where you get a bunch of different ideas, you can search for different pins as they call them or pictures of things that interest you which is why they call them pinterest and basically what you do is you have like a it's almost like a virtual like collage board type of thing i don't know if you've ever like had like a bulletin board and cut out like pictures in a magazine and like kind of pin them onto a board like a bulletin board type of thing but that's basically the idea behind pinterest is basically like that bulletin board with the pictures pinned on it but this is all virtual so you can put anything on pinterest so anything that really interests you if you're planning a wedding if you're planning a baby shower if you want to decorate your house if you want to learn new recipes and if you want to get some inspiration on makeup looks and they even have like pictorials on there that's probably the first place where i've ever seen pictorials was on pinterest and then like instagram with the multi pictures started kind of doing that and you can also even put your regular pictures like the pictorial type pictures on instagram as well so with all of that being said um i had this idea probably a few months ago because what happens sometimes especially like when i'm getting ready and i don't really know what i'm gonna wear sometimes what i do is either i'll go on pinterest to look up an outfit idea and another thing that i tend to do very much often is when i don't know what to do with my makeup sometimes i'll just go on my pinterest board and look at the things that i've already pinned and kind of scroll through them until i find a look that i want to either recreate or that i got inspired by and make my own version of it it's definitely a place that i've gotten inspired by a lot um, especially to like kind of think outside of the box and do a bunch of fun looks so i had this idea of doing some a challenge type thing i don't really know if this is going to be a challenge per se maybe it might be an ongoing series on my channel who knows and i also don't know if anyone's ever done this before i've looked on youtube and i haven't found anything quite like this makeup looks that i like and there's a lot of pins on there honestly that's probably the number one thing that i pin the most on there um you can also do categories in there so i have my makeup looks in this category over here there's 14,000 pictures guys i mean i've had this for a very very long time but these pictures are really old so anyways the idea that i had i know i'm like dragging here but the idea that i had was basically to do kind of like a pinterest roulette so if you guys have ever played roulette you know it's the little casino game with the little ball and you basically pick a number that you want the ball to land on but you don't really know where it's gonna land on um so basically this is kind of like the same concept except for i'm not picking a makeup look that I wanted to land on and hoping that it lands on that what I'm gonna basically do is I'm just gonna scroll up and down like vigorously on my Pinterest makeup board and then whatever look my finger lands on that's the look that we're gonna create today so it's kind of like a fun way of trying out something because a lot of the things that I pin on here honestly I never in a million years would ever do because it's out of my comfort zone so this is a way that will hopefully get me out of my comfort zone um just to show you guys a few of my more recent pins you know we have some fall makeup looks here so there are some looks that are very like natural like this one here but then there's some that are a little more bold some that are very intense you know some that are fun and creative so there's definitely a whole bunch of different types of looks so i really don't know what i'm gonna get so what i'm gonna do obviously you guys are gonna see me scrolling up and down and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to go ahead and put my viewfinder down and i'm gonna put a timer on my watch here so i'm gonna do a 30 second timer on my watch so for 30 seconds i'm just gonna be scrolling up and down up and down and then once the 30 seconds are up i'm just gonna hit whatever picture is there you guys will see what it is and hopefully i'll open that picture that the look that i'm going to be creating today all right so i scrolled back up to the top right here as you guys can see um i'm gonna go ahead and close my viewfinder right now so i can't even see my viewfinder and if you guys don't believe me i'm just gonna show you guys nothing so anyways okay we're gonna press start on my timer here and let's do this all right hopefully you guys can still see this 
So I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit and then up. I hope I didn't click on anything. I really can't see what I'm doing guys so I wish I had like something that will automatically just spin it for me but unfortunately I don't I know there are some crazy pictures some crazy makeup looks here alrighty 30 seconds is up did I open the picture <laughs> I hope so all right oh my god <gasps> guys this is the look that i am going to be recreating today so oh my god <laughs> what did i do so what i'm gonna go ahead and do pop it up here for you guys so that way you guys can see it better but this is the look that i'm gonna be recreating today oh my god <sighs> i don't even know how to i don't even know where to begin we're gonna attempt it so i'm gonna go ahead and um grab the products that i think i'll need for this look and then i'll be right back. so nervous i just grabbed everything that i'm gonna need to recreate this look right here or at least everything i think i'm gonna need so since it's just the eyes i was thinking of only doing the eye i feel like i should just do the whole thing who knows i might end up liking it that way i could take my makeup selfies you know so in the picture she has pretty fluffy eyebrows so I'm gonna go ahead and um, just comb up my eyebrows my natural brows and I'm taking the LA girl shady slim brow pencil and this is in the shade medium brown and then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna go ahead and create hair like strokes in the brows and I'm not gonna really define my brow the way that I usually would because um her brows don't seem that defined so i'm just going right at the bottom and getting in there so out of my comfort zone already i am missing a little bit of eyebrow there so i'm just gonna draw that in this is my more fluffier brow I'm just gonna take my little brow spoolie and blend all of that in. Just wanna make sure that little hole right there is filled. It's so hard for me to do this, but. So obviously, I don't know what products this girl used. There's an Instagram link here. Okay, so the look that I'm recreating is from Stella.s.makeup. And she used some Makeup Geek eyeshadows. So I don't own any Makeup Geek eyeshadows. So we're going to go ahead and use what I have. For the brows, she used Anastasia, which I don't have that pencil. It's hard to do this because I need to get my eyebrows done. They already look a hot mess. All right, I tried my best. I'm going to go ahead and set my brows in with the ColourPop Clear Brow Gel. So next, let's go ahead and jump into the shadows. So we're going to go ahead and use the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. I'm going to use a few shadows from each one of these palettes. So that's why I have the whole thing. So I'm going to start off with the Armed and Gorgeous palette, which is the green and yellow. So I'm taking the Morphe M533 brush, and I'm going to go ahead and go into the shade Access here. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that in the crease. And I didn't realize it at this moment, but I forgot to put on eyeshadow primer. So just use whichever eyeshadow primer you'd prefer. And then I'm kind of going to go ahead and wing this out right here. So then I'm going into this Morphe, Morphe brush. This is from the Essentials Eye Kit. I don't really know what it's called. Um, and then I'm going to go into the shade here called Secure. And I like this brush because it's fluffy, but it has a nice point to it. So I feel like I can blend out the shadow, but also place it exactly where I want it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the crease and wing that out as well. And this is just going to start deepening everything up. And then I'm going to go into this little tiny um, Morphe or Crown C527 brush. So it's this little baby pencil brush. And I'm going to go into the Dark Magic palette, which looks like this. And I'm going to go into that blue shade there called Busted. And we're going to go ahead and put that in the crease. And 
and then we're gonna go ahead and do that cut crease type of shape once I have the shape that I want I'm gonna go into the crown 5 C528 brush and I'm gonna go back into that busted shade again and then we're gonna go ahead and build up the intensity there as well as blend out that blue shade so that way there's not a harsh line I'm gonna go into a little tiny bit of inside job because I feel like her color is a little more like greenish blue so this is just gonna add a little bit of that green make it more like a teal so then we're gonna go back into the armed and gorgeous palette and go into that orange shade again the secure shade and a little bit of access I'm gonna take that on a morphe m514 brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out those edges right there I know we already put down that transition shade, but this is just to blend it together. Then I'm gonna go in to some concealer. This is the Makeup Revolution Concealer. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my crease. So I'm taking this little paintbrush, um, it's number six. <laughs> I don't know where I got it from, I forgot. I think I got it off Amazon. All right, we're gonna start on this eye. Right, and we're going to just go ahead and fill that whole thing in. So this is where the fun begins. This is what we have going on so far. I don't think it looks too shabby. I think it looks pretty spot on. Um, obviously the colors are a little bit different and my eye shape is a lot different. I think I made mine more wingy than she did, but it's all good. So we're going to go into the Pretty Vulgar Eyeliner. And I'm taking this little tiny, tiny, tiny little pencil brush from Morphe. This is from that eye, amazing eye set, essential eye set, incredible eye set, whatever it's called. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and create a wing, but we're gonna leave this outside part empty. So we're gonna make a negative space here. I recommend doing this with gel liner because it's creamy, but I guess we'll see. And then what I'm doing is I'm lifting my eyebrow up here to kind of make that stretch. So I almost want to like mimic the shape that we did for the cut crease. And we do want to leave quite a bit of space here. And then you want that to meet that crease right there. The key is making sure that your eyeliner brush has eyeliner on it at all times. All right, so that's what this eye looks like. We're gonna leave that lid space that's empty right now for last because we're gonna make it glossy. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna smoke out that eyeliner. So we're gonna go into the Dark Magic palette again and take this shade Emptress with this Morphe brush from the Copper Dream Set. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is basically just go over that liner, but you wanna try to make sure not to get it above the liner. This is gonna start smoking everything out. Look at what a difference that made compared to this eye. Okay, I'm gonna finish the rest of my face makeup really quick and then I'm gonna smoke this stuff out down here um, just because I need it to connect. So I'll be right back. So I went ahead and did the rest of my face makeup really quick, but I didn't do the highlighter because in the picture you could kind of see a highlighter and her highlighter looked kind of silver. So I'm using the Prismatic Highlighter from Too Faced and this is in the shade Blinded by the Light. So this is a really pretty like silvery white shade, which I actually really love on my skin tone. I think it looks super pretty. It's light, but it looks good. Like it doesn't make me look ashy or anything. And it's so blinding as you guys can see. So now that that is on, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the rest of the eyes. So we're gonna go into the Bling Boss palette, which is the purples. And I'm gonna go back into that little brush that we were using earlier. And we're gonna go into the shade here called Sparks. And actually, before I do that, 
I'm gonna take this eyeliner from my official looking glass and this is in the shade deep plum so this is technically lip liner but I'm gonna use it as eyeliner today so we're gonna go ahead and put that in my waterline and I'm also gonna put it a little bit on the lower lash line as well now that we have that on and we look kind of crazy we're gonna go into that sparks shade which I find matches this shade perfectly and I'm gonna take that on that lower lash line and just start smoking that out and we want it to connect in here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that shade and blend it inside with that liner as well so basically the black and the burgundy are gonna meet to create a nice wing and all I'm doing is taking this clean little liner brush has no product on it and I'm just kind of re intensifying that line there so that way it looks more sharp all right now time for the fun part guys probably the part that you guys have been waiting for so I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my Mac old gold this is a loose pigment. I didn't have a pure gold. I didn't want to scrape my gold. So I instead I took some of the loose pigment and I mixed it in with some of this Maybelline gloss. This is the Shine Shop. So what I'm going to do before I put that down is I'm going to go back into the Armed and Gorgeous palette. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this little tiny brush. This is from the Urban Decay Electric palette. I'm going to go into the shade Coin here, which is similar to the old gold shade. So if you guys don't have that, you can just scrape this and mix it in with some of the lip gloss. But we're going to use this as our base first. So I'm just going to put that right where that concealer is empty. So you have the option. You can leave it like this, but I really want to bring this picture to life. So I personally am going to go the extra mile and put in that glossy taco <laughs> on top. You guys know where that reference is from. You guys are the real ones. Now, like I said, hers is more of a true gold, like a true yellow gold. This kind of has like a little bit of a green undertone to it, but I kind of really like it. I'm digging it. So you guys can see it's pretty intense on its own, and I actually really like this a lot. We're going to go into that same exact brush. All I did was take a little bit of that pigment and mix it in with some of the um, lip gloss. And we're going to go ahead and take some of that on the brush. I'm just going to go ahead and start packing that right on top. So you could wet your brush. You're going to get a foiled effect, but it's not going to give you that same like metallic sheen that the picture has. So I'm just going to go ahead and slowly start packing this on top. And you guys will see the difference in a second. Well, I'll show you guys the difference in a second. This is how to create that like wet look. You can use like MAC has their mixing medium, but if you're balling on a budget, clear lip gloss is the way to go. This one's from Maybelline. It was like maybe four or five dollars. But anyways, so you guys can see the effect that has on this eye compared to this eye. This one almost looks flat, while this one has that nice dimension to it. I look crazy doing this with one eye open. So now the thing with this, if you were wearing this look out, you have to be super, super careful. I'm not bringing it up to the crease because I don't want it to crease in and bleed into the, the eye, which it already is starting to do that over here. Alrighty, there we go, guys. Oh my God, I'm so proud of myself. It looks so good. So then I'm gonna take some of that VIP shade. I am not one to ever do this, but the look requires it because she does have like a shimmery brow bone. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that on this Carity E20 brush tap off the excess and just put a little tiny bit on my brow bone there take that VIP shade and put it as my inner corner highlight alrighty there we go so now that that is done I'm gonna go ahead and quickly put on some of these lashes these are the kiss number 11 lashes which you guys know are my favorites and then I'll be right back so this is after some lashes definitely makes a really big difference Trying not to open my eye too much on this one because I guess I went a little too high in the crease with the like actual carving out of the crease. So I don't know, you guys can kind of see how it's getting a little messy there. Last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and do the lips. The same lip liner that we used as eyeliner. I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but we'll see. And then I'm taking the ColourPop Luxe lipstick in the shade 27. I haven't worn this shade yet because I've been waiting for fall. Hard to do like a vampy look. And I usually would want to do like a matte lip with this, but my lips are so dry. I think um, the luxe version. And this is nice because it's kind of like a muted berry, but it's also not like 
not bold. I don't know how I feel about this lip. I think I'm gonna change it. All right, there you go. So this is a Sephora liquid lipstick in the shade number 23. You guys know this is like one of my ride or dies. I still wanna keep a little bit of that berry-esque-ish. Pull out my Rich Luxe fan. Alrighty, here we go. This is it. This is the finished look, guys. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I nailed it or what? I think I did a pretty good job myself. I'm going to put the picture up here for you guys so that way you guys can see it as a reference. But I think I did a pretty good job. I mean, obviously, it's not exactly the same look. But it is pretty dang close, if I do say so myself. I really do like this a lot. It's, like I said, something that I probably wouldn't do. But I like the fact that this really helped me branch out in my, my makeup artistry and be able to do something fun and different for a change you know versus the same old wearable looks and whatnot it's very easy sometimes to get in a rut and end up creating the same looks over and over again using the same shadows over and over again or the same tones over and over again so this is definitely a fun way to kind of broaden your horizons and do something fun and creative i definitely think i am going to be doing more of these type of videos in the near future maybe i'll do one every other month or so so that way i can just get myself out of that funk and really create fun looks i hope you guys did like this and let me know down below if you guys want me to do more of these type of videos and also what other videos you guys want to see in the future and i will talk to you guys in the next one until then